NASA has an astonishing plan to strike an asteroid off course for the first time in 2022. I believe that's a little bit late, but anyway, that's the soonest we suppose they can do it because we have Apophis approaching us in 10 years, 2029. And after that, a little while after that, is uh, Bennu, the dwarf planet Bennu. Uh, so we have a lot of things coming in towards us, which will be at a much shorter distance between the Earth and the Moon. And these are very near Earth objects, NEOs. So they have to do something to get their asteroid destruction programs their asteroid redirect missions very quickly into place because the whole of humanity depends on the protection of planet Earth from an asteroid strike, a meteor strike, a comet strike, or a bigger body strike onto Earth which uh, could create a catastrophe, a havoc, a chaos similar to what happened to the dinosaur killer asteroid that struck the Earth. This is authored by Max Lavo of SHTF Planet It's on Zero Hedge by Tyler Durden today. NASA will attempt for the first time to knock off an asteroid off course and away from our planet to prevent a collision with Earth in 2022. Well, I didn't even know uh, this was coming so close to us, but I guess they have to have some practice runs to begin with. Now the thing is, how will they lock and knock it off? Will they destroy it? Will they cut it into pieces, knock the pieces off? It's amazing. Now, I hope NASA is not doing this on their own. The whole world should be involved in this because it may need a lot of technology, it may need a lot of funding, it may need uh, technology that uh, certain countries may not have, others may know of. But anyway, everybody has to get together and do something good to protect the Earth. But NASA has approved a mission that aims to slam a spacecraft into a quote-unquote small asteroid to bump it off course. Now, the thing is, will it bump it off course or will it not? According to IB Times, the asteroid NASA will be attempting to punch is the 150 meter tall moon asteroid named Didymus uh, as hinted by its name which originates for Greek word meaning twin Didymus it is part of a double asteroid system and orbits around another asteroid that is 800 meters tall so they're a double asteroid the little one is 150 meters and the bigger one is of course 800 meters the Double Asteroid Redirect Test, DART. The name given to this mission would be the Space Agency's first planetary defense mission. NASA also has tooted lofty goals of, as we know, drilling into the Yellowstone supervolcano to prevent a supervolcano eruption too, noting that one wrong move could set the whole caldera off. Well, it is not just their simple drilling into the volcano, they wanted to nuke the Yellowstone volcano, God forbid. Nancy Chabot, a planetary scientist at John Hopkins University, Applied Physics Laboratory and Protection Scientist for DART, that's a double asteroid redirect uh, mission, previously said that this mission is different from the usual NASA projects, I bet, of course it is, as it aims to solve a current problem it's a, problem, a real problem that we're facing, in other words, in the solar system, rather than just studying it as it passes by. Quote, it's one of the big differences. It's a lot of science-driven missions seem to be focused on understanding the past of the solar system, the early solar system, and how it formed. Planetary defense is really about the present solar system and what we're going to do in the present. And I would add, to protect humanity. Anyway, DART will be powered by a solar electric propulsion system. It's scheduled to crash into Dynamis in October of 2022. The European Space Agency, ESA, will be helping NASA out in this project with its HERA spacecraft, which will gather data about the asteroid, 
Hera won't be present at the actual collision, but it will observe Didymus in the aftermath of the collision. NASA is so far confident that this mission will be a success and Didymus will be knocked off course. Quote, DART would be NASA's first mission to demonstrate what's known as the kinetic impactor technique, striking the asteroid to shift its orbit to defend against a potential future asteroid impact on Earth. End quote. This is what Lindsey Johnson, Planetary Defense Officer at NASA Headquarters in Washington, said in his statement. According to NASA, the spacecraft weighing 500 kilograms will slam into Didymus at 6 kilometers per second. This will change the asteroid's orbital velocity by approximately 0.4 millimeters per second. One thing they're not telling us here is how heavy this 150 uh, meter tall uh, asteroid Didymus is. How heavy is that? Because, okay, you have the NASA spacecraft weighing 500 kilograms, which is uh, half a ton. And uh, how heavy is the... <laughs> is it, how heavy is the asteroid? Because, you know, it's like, let's say I have a pebble and you drop a pebble on my toe. Is the pebble going to move me out of place? Of course it's not. So if the NASA spacecraft is like a pebble towards the Didymus asteroid, it's not going to do a single thing to it. Nothing. So this is Didymus uh, data from Wikipedia. It was discovered by Space Watch April 1996, named after the Greek word twin. And its diagnosed designations is a minor planet. So if it's a minor planet, are you telling me that a spacecraft of half a ton is going to move a minor planet out if it impacts it? I, in my humble opinion, there's no way, Jose, it's going to happen. Didymus is a sub-kilometer asteroid and synchronous binary system classified as potentially hazardous and near-Earth object of both the Apollo and Armour group, whatever they are, is the target of the proposed AIDA asteroid mission. The asteroid was discovered in 1996 by Space Watch survey at Kitt Peak. It's a small 170-meter minor planet moon. It was discovered in 2003 due to its binary nature. It was named Didymus. So it's not 150 meters, it's 170 meters. Maybe in a couple of minutes it'll be 250 meters. Anyway, orbital characteristics. Didymus orbits the sun at a distance of 1.0 to 2.3 AU once every two years and one month. Its orbit was an eccentrically, okay, it was its inclination, its incline, okay. It approaches, it approached, it, its approach to Earth in November 2003 was especially close at a distance of only 7.18 kilo, million kilometers. It will not come that near until November 2,123 with a distance of about less than 5 kilo million kilometers. It also passes very close to Mars at 4.69 kilometers in 2,144, uh, 2, about 20 years after that. Physical characteristics in the S mass classification, Didymus is an XK type asteroid which transitions from X type to rare K type asteroid. It rotates rapidly. With a period of two point uh, two and a quarter hours, and uh, in, it indicates that the body has a nearly spheroid shape. Didymus is a binary asteroid with a satellite in its orbit, the minor planet Moon. So uh, its uh, naming is minor. This minor planet was named Didymus for twin. Okay, so it's not it's not an asteroid. It's a minor planet. Naming minor planet. Proposed exploration, it's targeted for the proposed unnamed asteroid impact and deflection system, AIDA mission, and canceled a canceled uh, collaboration, oh sorry, a canceled collaboration between ESA and NASA. After the cancellation, NASA announced it would proceed with the impact portion of the mission. Why did the European Space Agency cancel on that? They should have been working, I mean this is very important, they can't have uh, their egos 
their narcissistic views, uh, you know, ah, you're not doing what we want, we're not going to help you, you do it by yourself, you know, what the frack is that, I'm sorry, but you know, you have to, you're obliged to work, work with each other, uh, put your differences aside and work to help humanity, this, uh, NASA can't be doing this on their own, anyway, but NASA is, NASA's mission is intended to test whether a spacecraft impact could successfully deflect an asteroid. This is not an asteroid, it's a minor planet. I guess you couldn't find a minor astro an if asteroid. If you'd like to join maybe, me on my perhaps maybe the asteroid is too fast. You will hear Whereas content this minor planet not covered goes by mainstream slower. media. Uh, maybe that's one These thing, riveting uh, stories will be that based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal uh, that's insight thing, but, uh, on diverse and controversial planet. subjects so again, and world events. That's what we get from and that's not Wikipedia. covered by mainstream media and not so certainly the title of this should be not supported by YouTube guidelines. Minor planet. So whatever struck. I have on my Patreon, for you for this. most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.